Now Central Oregon's local alert weather with Katie Suniga. I know ski and snowboard season is over up at Mount Bachelor, but I still can't help but take a look off that Outback Lift Line camera, mostly because it's just so helpful to see what's going on with the sky. We had a bit clearer view earlier than we do right now. We've definitely had more clouds coming into the region, and we are going to see this variable cloud cover going back and forth over the next couple of days. Always keeping an eye on those travel conditions, especially today. Quite a bit of traffic earlier on Sandy Ann Pass, leaving Central Oregon and heading back to the valley. But right now, as you can see, things aren't too incredibly busy. See a few cars there up at government camp and the roads are clear, just a bit wet for us at this point. Now here's a look at that satellite and radar image. Now what we're looking at here is interesting. We typically don't see this rain coming at us from the east, but we do have a high pressure center, which is that clockwise motion that you see. So it's coming down, sweeping around, going right back and then heading right back up. So that's why we're seeing a few showers there in the Madras area, not really anywhere else and not anticipating too much to happen for us tonight. In fact, you'll see on our future track here in a moment, we have some on and off showers all the way through the weekend. Temperatures on the cool side today, definitely well below average. We did have a bit stronger winds in that 15 to 10 to 15 mile per hour with a few in that 20 mile per hour range over the next couple of days, 10 miles per hour at most in some areas up to 15 in others, keeping things pretty light. You'll see that we're mostly clear and dry. Once we get to tomorrow after around two, you see a few showers here. Those clear up rather quickly. By the time we get into the evening, we're back to just a few clouds, nothing too heavy. We get to Wednesday afternoon. Now we're seeing a bit more rain, a few showers popping in here and there. Once we get to Thursday morning, that clear up for us and we have just a few showers come in the afternoon into Friday and then we see a few more clouds and that's the way it's looking is nothing widespread across the region just a few showers here or there and some of them may bring with it a chance for some thunderstorms. Temperatures for us warming up into the middle of the week and then cooling down into the weekend. So here's where we are right now. Well below average for our day today and overnight we do drop down to just about average that 39 degrees there at Redmond. That's just a couple of degrees below average. You can see our temperature range is from 32 in Lapine up to 44 in Warm Springs. This is really close just slightly below what we should be around this time of year. Warming up tomorrow not quite to average. You can see in Redmond here 70 degrees. That's just a couple of degrees below. So we'll be ranging from the mid 60s in Sun River to those mid 70s in the Warm Springs area. We're not done warming up yet. By the time we get to Wednesday, we hit the peak of our temperatures, upper 70s to low 80s. Thursday. That's when we see that next chance for some thunderstorms, but that is not the only day we have a chance. We carry a chance for showers and maybe even some thunderstorms through the weekend on Sunday going into next week, right at average in the low 70s.